guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are back with more of The Walking Dead. Now, we picked up, we're picking up right where we left off. We've already talked to uh, Kenny and everybody else, so now we are going to head this way. We're going to go talk to Duck. We're going to wave at him, apparently. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. <laughs> I'm the foreman. <clears throat> Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? We going That'd be great. Mm -hmm. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. We're going We're going to live and we're going to lend a hand, God. <clears throat> Oh, My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. Man. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about oh, yours? Yeah. How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, so I guess now we're going ahead to the barn. And uh, see if Herschel needs any help. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> I'll get my gun!
Okay, I gotta pause it because that got really loud, guys, and I did not realize how loud that was gonna get in my headphones. So I wanna turn that down just a little bit because I was like, whoa, that was loud. Uh, uh, well, he helped us get out of Atlanta, and I feel like the parents will save uh, the. Yeah, see? I got you. Eddie, come please! Eddie! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Move the truck! <laughs> I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. Sean's gone. Oh, man. That ain't... Oh, man. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Uh. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter, and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out, and never come back! Man... You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Wow, I figured that since he was kicking us out anyway, we just go with, uh, we go with Kenny. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Well, we have officially made it to Macon. Oh, I bet you that's his uh, parents' drugstore. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, not friendly! Not friendly! Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. 
might go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have oh, something in common. Damn. Come. God damn this it. This girl. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Good right now, God, I don't like this guy. In here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Not okay, the, I, I really want to punch now. this guy right now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh, oh man. Ah! Oh no, Clem. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow. See, you're just a... You're just a scared cat. Died because of this bitch and her itchy trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. It's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. Oops. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Apparently, we're trying Everyone to. Everyone else should get quiet. comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. <laughs> I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? 
We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, hmm. here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? Yay, What's Clementine. It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright, so we're gonna try to get this. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Alright. So, before we go towards the office, I kinda wanna... Oh. Energy bar. That'll come in handy. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. I just, uh... We're fine. I'm, I'm fine. That's good. Everything's fine. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Water, guys. Ah. Uh, Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. All right. Uh, let's it's give. Not it... much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. Another energy bar. All right. Uh. Oh, there's another one. Uh. Um, we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, Whoops. we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Aw, poor Duck. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving <coughs> on her own? That's right. Excuse Not me, just I'm any so sorry, guys. What's the plan? Ugh. Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... It's we too dangerous wait for things to, clear to go up. alone. Take you the said sword. your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't mm -hmm. stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's we tried cool. to make Kitty feel better. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. 
try to let it go. Let it go. Alright, so we we took care of that. I guess it's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Oh, and that violence before well, with Well, I dad, can't help that. It didn't help. Okay, so we made two... You're from here? Two I wrong decisions, apparently, but... Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick Everybody together needs to have a zombie this. apocalypse plan. If What's everybody has a plan, no, we can cut the zombie much. apocalypse a time in half. Just saying. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't. Need yeah, he does have it's a temper. Just the... I, yeah. I mean. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Ish, issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to him now. Yeah, Clem is lucky to have us. We're gonna make sure we take care of her. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. Just looking at stuff before we try to get anything. Oh. Oh, well. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <sighs> Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Eh, no, not right You're now. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. No, you're not. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Poor Carly. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. 
in that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Let's check. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You wouldn't know to look for batteries? Are you... Are you, are you serious? Hey. Battery. There's one. So... We need to find another one. Uh, Trying to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Is that a battery? Two. Hey! We found both batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah. But I tell you what, for a reporter who doesn't know anything that that did not check to see if there was batteries in the radio, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go check this place out. where we're going to leave off. So, remember guys, let's just pause right here. Remember guys, be good, stay safe, but always have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.